Hello and welcome to another Blender Know How Tutorial. In this video we're going to learn how to texture a dollar bill inside of Blender. Hopefully it's not too hard and I can be able to explain it pretty clearly and easily. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. So, look something like this when we're done. Um, this is kind of the file that I finished with when I created the outline for this. So, create a new file and uh, something to note, so I just did a little bit of googling for a quick second. The dollar bill dimensions, all I typed in, uh, they're 2.61 inches by 6.14 inches long by 0 0.0043. Uh, this is actually is very handy because now we know the exact dimensions of a dollar bill. So just pull up in by hitting N, your transform tools right here, just these ones. And we're going to go, you can either do dimensions or scale. I don't think it'll matter too much because uh, it, it's just pretty much a ratio that we're going for. So I'm just going to do scale. Uh, so I got 2.61 in one dimension, 6.14 in another, and 0 0.0043 in another. And we have a dollar bill, two dimension. It's pretty sweet. Uh, now we're just going to hurry and get into the texturing. So I'm going to split this. If you hover over and you click right on the little, uh, in the other blenders, like the earlier blenders, this was a little bit more explicit. Like you can see what was going on. Uh, right now it's, I hope they fix this when they get outside the Blender 2.8 beta. But if you just click on there, right on the corner, it will let you split screens and to collapse them you click on it and you just drag it in one way and the arrow up will say this one is going to go up or down will be this one that goes down so it doesn't matter in that situation but yeah uh, now I'm going to go into the shader for the bottom one zoom in a little bit uh, let's just quickly add whoops yeah so I just shift A add uh, I'm just going to search for image texture whoops I actually right clicked uh, and then connect the color to the base color, hit open, and click on the texture. And I will have this texture, or, or at least a link to it, uh, in, the in the description. Uh, if not, I believe I got to it by uh, just searching dollar bill texture. Yeah, that's what I search. So you can always always do it like that as well. Uh, sweet. So now I'm going to open up this because because we can use EV. Let let's actually do it because this is a perfect situation when we should. So I I did this. You can hold on uh, if you want to. You can do it right now though. I just slip it over. Uh, but select that. But you can see that this is like this isn't gonna work our dollar bill is not textured correctly and that's because it's UV mapped incorrectly and to, to see how it's UV mapped uh, we just need to make another one and do this as a UV editor right here and then select the dollar bill texture now if we go in make sure we're s selected on the our dollar here and you just hit tab you can see we have stuff we have information we can make it bigger and smaller and honestly if you can get this to work it probably would work the best um, but I just found there's a really easy way to do this and uh, why, why, why make it hard right so if we just make sure that we're over here and we hit U for UV mapping we can just hit project from view and as long as we're in the top view this will work perfectly because we know that we're just projecting straight down onto our dollar bill it's a flat object it will work every time like this uh, now over here just rotate this by 90 and make it bigger just big enough to fit all of the dollar bill data onto it uh, make sure that it's centered as well yeah sweet I think we now have our dollar bill uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to whoops I guess I didn't want to do that right now uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to explain today. It's nothing too elaborate, but it's just for UV mapping and getting a quick and easy texture onto um, an object. And I hope this has helped you. And uh, like, subscribe, and also check out any other videos. Thank you.